Hello YouTubers, this is Lats. Today I'm going to show you the Star Wars mod that I made for the Aeon MQ7 skin for Cody. Uh, first thing I want to show you is an intro video that I made. Uh, I put this in this hidden folder dot Cody and your skin is installed in this add-ons folder. This is a Linux PC. I put the video in this media folder. It's just a 10 second intro video. I'll show you what it looks like here. So that's the intro video that I made. It's only 10 seconds long. Uh, you can put I guess any length video in there I just put, made a short one and put it in this folder you can put it wherever you want I just wanted to keep it inside the the main Cody folder so I put it under media if you want to put it in that folder you can but you'll have to enable a setting in Cody and I'll show you how to do that we'll go ahead and open up Cody and I'll show you first how to get that video working Okay, so you see I've already got that installed. I'll show you the first thing you have to do if you go to settings and appearance, down to file list, and then you want to enable this show hidden files and directories if you put it in that .cody folder. You won't be able to see it until you enable that. So now if you go back to skin and your skin settings go down to general settings and then enable this activate playback list at skin startup uh, when you enable that now you'll be able to click on this choose playlist and then you just want to go to where you have that video so for me it's the home and then go down to Cody and then media and then you'd click on that video file. I don't have that, so I'm not going to do that right now. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to change any of that. So that's how you enable your intro video. Uh, get back out of here to the main menu. You can see I've already changed my font and the font color. And then up top, you can see I've changed the, I think it's the label color and the title font color. So I've, I've already got that set up for Star Wars. Uh, I did figure out how to change the menu bar. Uh, MQ7 just comes with one default menu bar. You can't change it like you could with the MQ6. But I just figured out uh, today how to make that work. So I'll show you that when we go into the Star Wars settings. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the theme. So if we go into skin settings, and go to themes, I created a Star Wars theme. So you can see now every listing on your menu shows a Star Wars background. And we also have, if you see down here at the bottom, the Star Wars settings. Uh, if you don't have the holiday settings mod that I made, if you don't have that installed, you can still install this Star Wars mod and it won't interfere whether you have the holiday settings or not. It's a uh, should be a standalone install. You just won't have the holiday settings above your Star Wars settings. It will uh, your Star Wars settings will be under general settings. So we go into your Star Wars settings. And you can see when you first install this mod, your menu bar will probably not display. So the first thing you go in and do, you can turn on your MQ7 menu bar. See, I'll turn it off. We'll go back out. 
Now your menu bar is gone. So now you can turn it on and you see it's back. And then if you want the Star Wars menu bar, you can turn that on. And now you have the, uh, the lightsabers. I just made a menu bar similar to the MQ-7 bar and it acts the same way. If you go down, it disappears and you scroll up and it reappears just like the other menu bar does. And then I also made some Star Wars graphics kind of like the holiday settings. So we turn that on and go back and you can see now you have R2-D2. I've got a TIE fighter and an X-Wing fighter and the Millennium Falcon. There it is. And then on the top left you'll see a Star Destroyer start scrolling across the screen. Alright, so you've got all that set up now. I also created a, a Star Wars GUI sounds pack and you can install that if you go to my repo. Uh, I'll show you how to add the source for my repo right now. If you go to file manager and you go down here to add source. I've already got it added so I'll show you the source. So there's the link that you need to put in and then just give it whatever name you want. And then go to settings add-ons install from zip and then go to whatever your name you gave it and then install the repo and then when you get the repo installed there it is there Lats Cody repo go in there look and feel GUI sounds and then you can install the Star Wars uh, UI sounds. I've already got that installed. So once you get that enabled, then you can turn the GUI sounds on. So if you go into appearance, down to GUI sounds, now you can select Star Wars. And now you've got Star Wars sounds. So that's all that I have for the mod. Uh, I'll have a link to the Cody forms where you can download the mod. I'll have the uh, background images in that mod as well as all the files you need to uh, make this work on the skin. I'll have the video included in there if you want to use that video. And, and then I'll also have the info uh, for the repo uh, if you forgot it or you just need it uh, written down to install that repo I'll have that info as well uh, if you have any comments or questions please post below appreciate you watching have a good one